Hello my friends, welcome back to Decorate with Dana. Today we're doing a little laundry room makeover. Let's face it, we spend a decent amount of time in the laundry room, so I figured why not make it as cute and as functional as possible. I hope you guys enjoy this video and I hope it gives you just a little bit of small laundry room makeover inspiration. Okay, you guys, so the first thing I want to do is, I gotta get that big jar off there, but I want to add a little accent wallpaper to just this front wall. This is the front wall that you see when you come in. I'm gonna try this peel and stick wallpaper from Target. It's got the, a little bit of like a sage green, just to add a little bit of an accent color. So we're gonna give it a try see how it comes out. If I don't like it, I will take it down and just not use it, but we will give it a try and see. So I just wanna prepare everything first, take down this curtain rod and a screw that was in the wall. So I purchased this peel and stick wallpaper from Target. I picked up two rolls. Um, it was the perfect amount for this small wall and I have a decent amount left over. Um, the pattern of this was not super hard to match up, but I don't know, I will talk about it in a minute. I love the transformation and I love the way it ended up looking or turning out, but I do just have like a love-hate relationship with peel and stick wallpaper. I do think that regular wallpaper where you put the paste on the wall is probably a little bit easier to work with. However, it is harder to remove. So there are advantages and disadvantages to both. Okay, so I decided to add this woven blind to the window. This was really cool because there was no tools required. You kind of um, turn these screws to push the ends out and it kind of secures it into place. So far, I've had it up for a week and it hasn't moved and it seems very, very secure in there. So I'm really pleased with this. I did end up going with the driftwood color only because it was about $30 cheaper and I was trying to do this room on a budget. They did have lighter colors that were so beautiful and probably would have been a little bit better, but for a budget makeover, I think this really works and I think it looks really pretty too. Okay, you guys, here is how the wallpaper and then this blind turned out. So. The wallpaper, I have a love-hate relationship with peel and stick wallpaper. What is nice about it is, and I've done this plenty of times, when I'm done with it or I'm sick of it, I can peel it off, it leaves no residue on the wall, it doesn't damage the walls, so there's that. But it is super hard to hang up because it's so sticky, as soon as it touches the wall, it like adheres to the wall and it's hard to adjust it. You can pull it off and adjust it, but then you know the paper will start to stretch a little bit and stuff. So it is not the easiest, but I'm super happy with it. I love the brightness it adds. And then this blind is from um, Amazon. Now, ideally I would have gone for a much lighter shade of a wo woven bamboo blind, but this one was like, $30 cheaper and it's the driftwood color and honestly this is a laundry room on a budget makeover <laughs> so I went for the cheaper one so easy to install it literally took five minutes this was like a no drill thing so they do have um, lighter colors which are super pretty but I just love it I think it looks really pretty I will keep it open most of the time this is such a small room but it just dresses up the window a little bit, so I really love that. So I guess now we're just gonna be able to do the fun part of decorating and kind of organizing the cabinets a little bit. So up in this cabinet, it might be a little bit of a mess, but um, this is all like Kova's supplies and towels that you know I use to like wipe her down and stuff or when she gets a bath. There's extra candles up there. I have some plastic bags and then a uh, hat washer thing. I have to get that big jar down off of there. I don't need that up there. Um, so there is that. And then we're going to organize the other cabinet here next to it. 
And yeah, so we are just going to get started. I wanted to use my little labeler here to make some labels for OxyClean and baking soda and vinegar and fabric softener and all the things that I would use on a regular basis uh, because I have put those items in canisters. So I just wanted to make some labels on my little label maker. I love this label maker. My husband got it for me for Christmas from Amazon. I'm going to have it linked down below. So now on this shelf behind the washer and dryer, we put this up a while ago. I want this to be very functional and very useful. So putting these items in canisters makes it look a little bit prettier, but it's still super functional. And I just put the laundry pods in that middle basket and adding the labels to those items. And then this corner shelf was actually in the bathroom downstairs. And I added a little bit of decor to the top two shelves. I left the bottom two shelves open right now because yes, I want to add decor to make it pretty and functional or to make it pretty, but I want this to be a functional laundry room as well. So I left those bottom two shelves open until I figure out exactly what I would want to put on them, something that is probably useful that I use on a regular basis. I found this little rolling cart at Target. It fits perfectly between the dryer and the wall. And again, I'm just putting functional items on it. It tucks away so you really can't see what it looks like. So I'm not worried about it looking super, you know, beautiful. I just want it to be organized and be functional. So that slips perfectly between there. And then I took the new little metal lint bin that I have that is magnetic and just stuck it to the side of the dryer and it works out perfect right there. So now I'm just up these cabinets above the washer, again, adding very functional items that I can easily grab, you know, bleach. Um, I have powdered Tide. I don't really use that in the laundry as much as I use it to clean the walls, actually. Um, and then the shelf above it, I have my... Um, like microfiber cloths and, and floor cleaning stuff and just kept this cabinet very functional so that I could easily get to what I need. We have this hanging rack and shelf back behind on the wall opposite of the washer and dryer. My spider plant just happens to do the best in here, so I'm gonna leave it up on that shelf, and it also keeps it away from my cat because he's obsessed with it. So I just added two canisters with some dryer balls and some clothes pins, and then this really pretty basket is from Target, and I'm just filling it with extra hand towels and towels that we would need for Kova and stuff like that. And then I'm just laying a rug in here. This rug is actually from Walmart. I think it was like $19. It's really pretty. I love the fringe detail. And of course, as soon as I laid it down, the cat had to come check it out. The shelves above the sink are pretty high, so they are strictly for decor. The only item that I do have that's functional and still looks pretty is I have this little green canister that I have put my washing machine cleaning tablets in, but otherwise this is just strictly an area that I like to decorate. And then I'm just adding some hangers to the rack so that we can hang our clothes to dry. And then to the sink, I'm adding an automatic soap dispenser and a hand towel, and that's all I'm going to put in here.
Okay, you guys, here is how the laundry room turned out. I think it's adorable. I just love to refresh this space every year because it just kind of gives me more motivation. And no, I didn't forget to take that jar down. It actually looks kind of cute up there and it, it kind of stores it away for me. So I just kept it up there for now. I think that the wallpaper made such a huge difference on just brightening up this room and adding the tiniest subtle pop of color without being too drastic. I love the blind. I think it all just works together so nicely. So the whole inspiration for the laundry room makeover was the new washer and dryer. The washer died and so that led to also just buying a new dryer because they were both just as old so it was just time to buy a new one so i love these these are the maytag their smart washer and dryer notifies me on my phone and i can start the wash from my phone and whatever so i don't know i just really love them so it kind of kind of motivated me to uh, refresh this space a little bit so this shelf up here i just like to make it a functional shelf because we use it. So I like to put my laundry pods, my baking soda, and my OxyClean. I use those pretty much all the time. So I like to have those right here. And then up in this cupboard, I have, I also always use fabric softener and white vinegar there. Powder Tide, I really use for more like cleaning walls and stuff like that. I don't really use it to clean laundry. Um, I always have Clorox and then a couple different other kinds of detergents. And then up here, I have most of my cleaning rags and microfiber cloths and everything there. I have some Swiffer dusters there. Um, you know, so just ran some random things in that cabinet. Up above here, this is all just strictly decor. It's pretty, although in that green canister right down here is um, the washing, uh, washing machine cleaner tabs. So I did that. And then up on this shelf in this basket, those are some of my favorite baskets that came from Target. I have just some extra hand towels and stuff. We wipe Kova down, or if you need a hand towel to put next to the sink or something like that. And then in here, I have my dryer balls. One is missing. <laughs> I don't know where it is, but my dryer balls and my clothes pins. And then this spider plant just thrives right here on this shelf. So it's just gonna stay here. Um, and then I, of course, always have hangers here because we do hang a lot of our laundry. And then I didn't fill this whole thing up. Sorry, it's going to get a little dark. I did not fill this whole thing up yet, this shelf, but this was a corner shelf that I had in my bathroom, but it works right here in the laundry room. So I just have, um, a little pitcher that came from Hobby Lobby with some stems and a couple of other little canisters that I can easily store some little cleaning supplies or something in. And then those two shelves are empty for now. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna put on there, but I just didn't wanna crowd it up right now. This little rug is from Walmart. And then this little um, caddy thing, I just kept, so my dryer sheets, cause they're right there. Uh, little cleaning brushes if I have to scrub out a stain. Down here is a little all-purpose cleaner and then my shout stain remover is in there. Those are supposed to get dog hair off your clothes and they don't work, not for us at least. Um, and then this is a dry, vent dryer brush when you clean your lint. And then I did hang the little lint trap cleaner or lint trap right here. Okay, you guys, that is going to wrap up this laundry room refresh. We did replace the light back probably about six to eight months ago. So I love that. So I just love this little room now. I think it's so welcoming when you come right in through the mud room. This door is pretty much always open. And so I love that it just looks nice and cute. And yeah, that's about it. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. Follow me over on Instagram at Decorate with Dana. And uh, yeah, thank you again all so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Have a great day.